The magazine New Scientist says the universe we live in seems to be a very unlikely place. It goes on to ask, are we just lucky or is there some deep significance to the fact that we live in a universe just right for us? So does cosmic fine-tuning point towards a creator God or is it a coincidence? Are we just lucky? Go into a car park. Any particular number plate you see is a very unlikely combination of letters and numbers. But it doesn't need an explanation. The car has to have some number plate. When we feel we need explanation, we're not simply concerned with something that's very rare and only occasionally happens. Um, if you went into a car park and saw a number plate with HRH1 on it, you wouldn't think that's just a random thing. You would think there must be some further significance attached to the, that, that, that uh, nameplate. And so it's a question of not only rare events, but rare events that seem to carry particular meaning. Now, of course, our universe might have all sorts of different laws of, of nature. When we see the ones we've actually got have this amazing consequence of the richness and diversity of carbon-based life, that seems to me to be something that you shouldn't just shrug off and say, well, we're here because we're here, just a happy accident, that sort of thing. It does seem to demand an explanation. And I think most, most people who thought about these things would uh, think that's the case. Though, of course, not everybody would agree what the right explanation is. Stand on a railway station. The combination of people there is very unlikely. But it doesn't need an explanation. The fact that these fine-tuning... Uh, of constants is just so amazing that we find ourselves wanting to ask the question is there a deeper story? We've got to be careful about taking the question into proof but I think it's of such a, an interesting and surprising level of detail that we find ourselves saying let's talk about the deeper story. That's right in one sense, that any particular combination of uh, constants and so on is highly, highly improbable. But the combination that we actually see is highly significant. Um, and, and I think what you should be looking at is the number of um, combinations, as it, so to speak, of constants and initial conditions that are significant in that way and giving rise to life, compared with the possible range of values of constants. And if you do that kind of sum, you get a, a probability of things turning out right, which are uh, more like zero, actually. And indeed, one of the early papers of Stephen Hawking on that literally put a figure of, of zero on this probability uh, for things turning out just right, for the universe being just right for life. And, and, and the, there is a very good explanation for why that should be in terms of a theistic explanation, that we can explain why that should be. Suppose I had a pack of cards here now and just laid, you know, dealt them. I, I shuffled them, you know, um, very carefully shuffled them and then dealt them. And it came out um, ace of clubs, two of clubs, three, four, five, six, seven of clubs. Same in diamonds, hearts, spades. Well, you could think, well, chances of that one in 10 to the power 60 actually interestingly enough or something along those lines but if you knew beforehand that I was um, you know uh, some kind of conjurer or magician you you think there's a better explanation for that than it's just a random throw of the, of the, of the, of the pack of cards a random deal uh, some people will in, indeed say, well, look, uh, any uh, combination of laws in the universe is going to be just as unlikely 
uh, perhaps as any other. Um, just because something is unlikely, that doesn't mean that therefore you have to appeal to design in order to explain it. Uh, and that's correct in as far as it goes, but it doesn't go very far. Let me give you an illustration. Uh, suppose I took your bank card and I put it into a hole in the wall machine and I punched in a four digit number to the machine and then accessed your bank records. Well, I think you'd be rather surprised and annoyed at me, um, but if you raised an, an objection and, and sort of said, well, how, how did you get hold of my PIN number? Well, would you be particularly impressed if I said to you, look, any four-digit number that I punched into this machine is just as improbable as any other. They're all one four-digit arrangement of numbers out of a, a huge pool of possible four-digit numbers. So there's nothing here to be surprised at, nothing here for, for you to think needs explaining in terms of me uh, having designs upon your bank account. Well, no, it's not just that I've punched in a particular unlikely arrangement of numbers, but this arrangement of numbers is specified as the only number that happens to access your bank account. Now, the fine-tuning of the universe is like that. It's not just that it's a complex, unlikely arrangement of laws, but it's that the, the complex, unlikely arrangement of laws that exists happens to be the one that allows life to exist out of a huge possible number of arrangements of laws, most of which would not allow life to exist. So it's this combination of unlikeliness, of complexity, with an independently given specification that in everyday situations like that bank card situation um, tips us off to design and I think should do the same in the instance of looking at the fine tuning of the universe. So cosmic fine tuning, the particular combination of laws and numbers in the universe, isn't just very unlikely. It's very unlikely in a specific way, a way that makes complexity possible, that makes life possible, that makes us possible. It isn't just a coincidence. We aren't just lucky. There is something that needs explaining. But this isn't the whole story, because if the numbers weren't just right, we couldn't be here. Next time, We'll ask whether the only kind of universe we can possibly see is one where the numbers are just right for us. <laughs>